Okay, hello, I'm Dirk Wackel from Premier Guitar Magazine and standing right to me is Heiko Hapfinger from the Bass Lab Company. Don't be fooled by the name, it's not only making basses, he's only making guitars as you can see here. And we want to talk to his new creations. Hello Heiko, how are you? Hi. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Um, we have uh, several stuff here, as you know from the name, we started with basses, since bass players are usually more open-minded. and. Now we are doing it also guitars. So let me show one of the first. This is our standard model. Um, it might look futuristic to, to everybody, but um, it's mainly about the material and the construction. It's completely hollow, just an outer skin of three to four millimeters, one piece. As you can see from the backside, there's no neck joint, it's just one piece. It's pretty light, so you have um, about 2.5 kilogram, which should be around five to six LBS I think and uh, that's what we started with and later came up um, with the more classic stuff um, that was the first classic model for those who are more conservative or uh, think this is their usual stuff and we still wanted to keep the basic sound and basic character of the jazz bass just at what we have with our material we call that material tunable composite because um, we can change the mix and alter the sound. So when uh, you, you have a completely hollow skin and you change the thickness, you get a different tone. And by adding different other fluids or materials on our carbon layer, we can just alter the sounds in the way we want. So this is completely hollow up to the neck and to the headstock. Everything's hollow and the weight is also around 2.5, 2.3 kilograms, maybe 5 LBS. So, this is probably more interesting for you since it's about guitars. Um, I have a similar version here. This is the standard guitar, and it looks futuristic again. You, you have the backside with the, with the neck joint, or the missing neck joint, and it's around two kilograms also completely hollow so it looks futuristic but of course you need the electronics and if you shred you want some space and this is just for the comfort you have a very curved backside so it fits in the classic position then uh, some people asked us about doing another classic thing for guitarists and this is why we made this one. Um, I don't have to hide that I'm personally not the biggest fan of the old Telecaster. I prefer the more modern stuff, but um, it sounds, it's, it's very, very loud. Even in this noisy environment, you get a very loud and clear tone. So that's what it's all about, getting the tone. Um, we don't care much about the look. It should be ergonomic. This one is less than two kilograms. Can you translate to LBS? 4.5 maybe, 4.2 I think, so it's, it's... This is aluminum. I prefer to work with the uh, zero fret all the time, so we just need a guide for the strings. That's all, so it doesn't have any influence on the sound. How about the bridge? Um, this is standard Telecaster bridge. Um, yeah, we also have some older stuff in here that we got from uh, singerscall.com. Um, it's stuff from 1962 and old capacitors, uh, CTS pots, and this is four-way. We have, of course, standard bridge, both neck and then series. And this one is available with humbuckers, with everything that, that has come out in, in that long time. So even if you want a uh, heavy metal guitar, we can do it with that shape if you want and need the more conservative look. Is the, the, is the fretboard uh, excuse me, is it lacquered or is this just the, the composite? Yeah, we put in the frets before lacquering and then remove the lacquer. There's no other way to get a, a very uh, flat and good leveled fretboard. So that way you can get um, a very low action. So, and what is pretty rare with uh, composite instruments is that we have a truss rod. So I think it's necessary. But um, we we wouldn't dare to come to a music show with only this instrument because this is not our basic style. This is why we have 
This one here, it's it's twin, and it's a signature model for Japan Arches Gym Mall, and um, it has a few more frets, 39, and it's stainless steel. Uh, we have one AMG pickup, active tone control, Steinberger trans tram, and the bow. It's not for optics, but as everything, um, it adds to the base side, to the low end. You get very warm lower mids and very deep and uh, huge low end. And I can also show you the back side, which is again one piece. Heiko, wo kann man mehr erfahren über deine Gitarren? Ja, also die Hauptinfos gibt es auf der Webseite unter baselab.de und ähm, ansonsten einfach in vielen Foren stehen auch noch interessante Sachen drin, wo sich Leute damit beschäftigt haben, die die Sachen spielen und ansonsten einfach ein Mail schreiben, anrufen, was auch immer. If you want to find out more about the Baselab instruments, basses, guitars and accessories, please visit his website um, baselab.de or as Heiko said, you can also visit uh, forums and read a lot about these guitars. So, thanks for calling and bye bye. Don't miss to visit www.bremiaguitar.com.